Hey everyone, and thanks for watching my in-flight review on Air Canada's business class product down in Melbourne, Australia. Today's flight took 17 hours gate to gate, a bit longer than the usual 16 hours and 10 minutes. The ride down under will be this two and a half year old Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Personally, when it comes to the Dreamliner, I don't take advantage of getting on the plane right away. This is because the cell phone signal inside of the aircraft is extremely weak because of the composite material, especially when the main cabin door is closed. Air Canada's business class is laid out in a 1 2 1 configuration in a reverse herringbone layout. My seat today is a window seat, 6K. What I love about the Dreamliner is the massive overhead bins that have enough room to put each carry-on bag vertically, so there is enough space in the bin for everyone. The seat is excellently laid out when you arrive, with a menu, full-size bottle of water, and an amenity kit. Additionally, there is a literature storage where you can find the Horizons magazine and a safety card. Also, there is a cover for the life vest. Underneath the seat, I put the included slippers, blanket, and mattress cover. There is also side storage available for a tablet or literature. There is a retractable armrest with more storage right below it. These are great for shoes. There is also a bright rotating reading lamp and a fixed armrest which unfortunately cannot be retracted. There is only one storage bin available on this configuration which includes the IFE remote and the standard features. Business class includes over-ear noise cancelling headphones which I actually found very good compared to a few other airlines. The amenity kit is provided by Want Less Essentials in a soft fabric material bag, which includes a toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, sleeping eye mask, earplugs, depression socks, hand moisturizer, lip balm, and a discount code for Want Less Essentials, and a microfiber cloth. The sleek black menu tonight is presented by David Hawksworth, a local Vancouver chef. This flight serves a late evening express supper, a first for me. Light bites throughout the flight and a breakfast. The full menu is in the description. This is the second international bank for Air Canada and YVR, as they have a few more ultra long haul departures at this time, including Sydney, Brisbane, Auckland, and Delhi. The in flight entertainment is fitted with a new Android based system, which is a lot more sleeker and faster than the previous system, and features pictures on the start screen of the destination. There's endless amounts of entertainment available from new releases, foreign films, classic movies, music, and podcasts. There's additionally a duty-free service available and Wi-Fi for reasonable price. I 
Additionally, you can now control the window tint through the IFE now. After a beautiful takeoff from Vancouver, it's best to make yourself comfortable. There's also a coat hook available at each seat, but in all honesty, it's not the greatest. The flight attendants can store your jacket in the closet for you. There is also a side control panel where you can control the mattress firmness and pitch and angle of the seat. The first of three rounds of drink service where I got the classic gin and tonic. They also serve mixed toasted almonds and cashews, but I'm personally sick of it as I've had it one too many times. So I asked for the bag of chips, which was way better anyways. The massive tray table has a clean wood finish and is easily retractable to get in and out of your seat. The appetizer was a cheese, fruit, and cracker platter with a mixed green salad and select option of bread. This was my first time having veal. It was extremely tender and tasted amazing. Finally for dessert, you can't go wrong with vanilla ice cream and a cream puff with a berry compote. The laboratory was bright, clean, and spacious. Additionally, it had a few nice touches of a shaving mirror, hand cream, facial mist, and nice art on the wall. The window was also a better option too, which is not available on many airliners. I personally set it up the mattress and blanket, but you can ask the flight attendants to set it up for you. After a solid eight hours of sleep, it was amazing to wake up to this beautiful sunrise over Tahiti.
Breakfast was served, but it was 1 p.m. local time at home, so I opted for the chicken. It was nothing short of amazing, but all right. Declaration cards are handed out prior to arrival with express track tickets for all the business class passengers. I didn't even use it because everything was done at an automated booth. They also play this declaration video by the Australian government prior to landing. A nice smooth landing in the Melbourne. Personally, my past experience with Air Canada has been over the top compared to other North American carriers. The crew was extremely friendly the whole way down and was some of the best I've had in a while. The seat is the same BE Super Diamond seat you'll find in a lot of different carriers, which is some of the best in the industry. It offers a considerable amount of privacy, but when it comes to flying on an airliner, privacy is the last thing you should be expecting. Hotel rooms are more catered for that. I personally recommend if you want the true business class product of what the airline wants to deliver, fly out of one of their hubs as when it comes to different amenities and catering, it can vary when the plane is not leaving from a hub station. This applies to all airlines. Overall, Air Canada delivers a solid business class product with no frills and is one of my favorites. Thanks again for watching.